Okay, so just starting out with a few reminders slash announcements. Um, where are we right now? Um, on Sunday at midnight, that's when our weekly work is due. So there is a forum. Many of you have already posted an introduction on that forum, which thank you. Um, homework one is posted and available right now. Uh, the quiz should be a pretty straightforward, easy um, quiz. It's just to make sure that you've actually read the syllabus and kind of know what is going on in class. And then the week one reflection is just me asking you a few more questions to get to know you. Um, and then don't forget there are these pre-class questions due um, Monday at noon. So usually I will have pre-class questions due at noon. Today's pre-class questions, I, I didn't tell you beforehand it was noon, so I just made it 2 p.m. Um, but in the future, they're going to be due at noon because sometimes like with today's um, pre-class, I'll need to do something with the uh, data. And so it, it's better for me if I can do that ahead of class. All right, so um, looking forward today, we're gonna finish talking about different types of galaxies. And then in week two, we're gonna talk about how we actually calculate the distances to those galaxies and what ga galactic distance scales and size scales are like. Um, during week two, you'll have your first project and then quiz two will cover weeks one plus two. So all of the quizzes will cover the previous two weeks of class so that you'll have a full week to finish kind of digesting new information before you're quizzed on it. All right, so any questions about where we are at or where we are going? Okay, and my picture of the day is the Leo triplet. Um, some of you from 122, if Leo was your constellation, you might recognize the Leo triplet. Um, there are just three galaxies that are in the direction of the sky, the constellation we call Leo. Um, and uh, this is taken by an amateur astronomer and it was the NASA picture of the day a few days ago. So if you're not familiar with NASA APOD um, astronomy picture of the day, check it out. There's cool stuff all the time. And also they have an Instagram. All right, so I'm gonna share with you different resources of the week every week. Um, I'm gonna compile them into a single slideshow. So if you wanna find them there, then you can. Um, so this week I'm highlighting two things since I didn't do one on the first day of class. Um, and I think both of these are really helpful to know about right now. So first of all, the um, Counseling Center is putting on this workshop series called Creating the Life You Want. Um, you can find a link to the flyer on my slides. You can find their full schedule on their website. Um, and some of the topics they'll talk about are creating a schedule that works for you, um, emotional intelligence, growth mindset, which I think is a pretty sweet topic. Um, and then lots of other things, um, setting goals, mindfulness, um, relieving stress. So all kinds of good stuff um, during the month of April and early May. So again, you can uh, register for these using the links on this slide or their schedules online. Counseling has a lot of other stuff, by the way, but this workshop series, I think, is pretty interesting. They're very topical, just one hour workshops where you can uh, learn more about something that can help you as a student. OK, the other resource I want to highlight is the STEM Transfer Pathways Club. So this is a new club that is for uh, students who are interested in transferring to study STEM, so any science, technology, engineering, or math discipline. Uh, and this club is quite new. I'm one of the co-advisors. The other co-advisor is Edgar Rosas Alcacira from biology. Um, and in the club, basically you can meet other STEM students, learn about STEM careers. We regularly invite STEM professionals, both locally and from around the country to give talks about how they got into their jobs and what their work experience is like on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the students in the club also work on projects to build skills um, and they're hoping to do some um, science outreach for K-12 students. So if any of these are things you're interested in, please join us. Um, you can join on Titan Communities. The past talks they've had are on YouTube. They have a Discord channel where you can hang out and chat. Um, and then their weekly meetings are on Zoom Sundays at 7.30. So the, last, the first one of the term was this last Sunday, but the second one will be this coming Sunday. So anyway, if you are interested, please do join. Um, it's a small but mighty group so far, and we would love to have more members. 